Zacchaeus, come down quickly, down quickly, come down quickly. Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. Jesus is passing this way. He's passing this way today. Amen. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Teresa, and I'm happy to have you here again to praise God, to have a quick reflection on today's gospel reading, and to just share fellowship in the presence of God. And we begin, as always, with a prayer to the Holy Spirit, as we say in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of your faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we sing a chorus of praise to the living God as we sing. Praise him, praise him, the King of glory, praise him. Praise him, Jehovah, hallelujah, amen. Praise him, praise him, the King of glory, praise him. Praise him, Jehovah, hallelujah, amen. Praise him, praise him, the King of glory, praise him. Praise him, Jesus, hallelujah, amen. Today's gospel reading is taken from the gospel of St. Luke, and it is one of our favorite children gospel stories. It's the story of when Jesus went to the house of Zacchaeus. Some call him Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus. However you pronounce his name, you know what we're talking about. So this today's gospel reading is from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now, a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, who was seeking to see who Jesus was. Think about this. One who the society um, termed a sinner because he was a tax collector. He was seeking to see who Jesus was. What about us? We call ourselves children of God, Christians. Are we seeking to know Jesus? Do we understand that this is a daily work for us, a daily seeking, a daily asking, a daily knocking? Are we seeking like Zacchaeus or do we think we know it all? Let's continue reading. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was shot. He was shot. He was a smallish man in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. Let's stop here. Jesus is passing by us every day. Are we running after him? Do we understand that the more we seek him, the more we find him? Let's do that today. Let's be observant. Let's actually live in the spirit and not on the things we see. Let's see Jesus 
in our brothers and sisters. Let's see Jesus in nature. Let's see Jesus in scripture. Let's see Jesus in the tasks we have to do every day. Let's see Jesus in our vocation in life. Let's see Jesus even in the gifts we've been given. I said, let's see Jesus in everything we say and do. Let's challenge ourselves. Let's see Jesus. This gospel reading is so exciting for me because Zacchaeus puts in everything. He looks to see Jesus. He runs. He climbs a tree. Have we done that much? Have we gone the far and wide to see Jesus daily, to find him, to seek him? Are we helping those who want to see him? How are we living our lives? Zacchaeus is a challenge for us that think we know him already. What are we doing daily to seek him? Let us wake up every day and say, Lord Jesus, help me to seek you. Lord Jesus, help me to run after you. Lord Jesus, help me to see you as you pass by in everything I'm going to do and say today. Amen. Amen. This is very exciting for me. Amen. Okay. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up. I tell you, when we seek him, Jesus is already there before we even get there. So see, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. Jesus wants to stay at our house. Jesus wants to be with us. His name is Emmanuel, God with us. Amen, amen. Okay. <laughs> and he came down quickly. That Zacchaeus came down quickly from the tree and received him with joy. He received Jesus with joy. Let us receive Jesus with joy. God help us to receive you with joy. When all saw this, that's the crowd, they began to grumble saying, he has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. Here he is repenting. The Lord Jesus, when he comes to stay with us, he is with us. He converts us. He, he doesn't leave us the way he saw us. He doesn't leave the chaos the way he was. Because of Jesus' presence in his life, Zacchaeus repents. Jesus comes to give salvation. Zacchaeus repents and decides to make restitution four times over for those he has scammed. God is so good. Amen. Let's read. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house because this man two is a descendant of Abraham for the son of man has come to seek and to save what was lost. He came to save me. He came to save you. We were once lost, but now we are found in Christ Jesus. We are followers of Christ Jesus. May God help us to always seek Jesus, to serve him, to follow him and to daily receive him as he passes by our lives. Amen, amen. Short and sweet, that's it. What a beautiful reading. Look, just Jesus said, today. That means not tomorrow, not when I think about it. Jesus said, today, salvation has come to this house. That's our prayer today, that today, salvation has come to our hearts, to our homes, to our families, to our jobs, to our vocations in life to our cities, to our streets, to our neighborhoods, to our schools, to our world. Amen. Amen. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. So I once was lost, but now I'm found. We sing. Okay. This childhood song, um, I'm sure some of you know it. It goes like this. Zacchaeus was a very little man, a very little man was he. He went up, up 
to the sycamore tree for he wanted, he wanted to see. But when Jesus was passing by, he looked up to the tree and said, Zacchaeus, you come down. I'm coming to your house today. I'm coming to your house to stay. Amen. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ come into our hearts, come into our homes to stay, both now and forever. Amen. We pray the grace together, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I have one more song. It's, it's called, it's a chorus. It's only Jesus can save. It was only Jesus that could save Zacchaeus. It's only Jesus that can save us. It's very simple. It goes like this. Only Jesus can save. Only Jesus can save. Hallelujah. Only Jesus can save. Hallelujah. Only Jesus can save. Hallelujah. Don't forget divine mercy. Jesus. I trust in you. No matter what you're going through, Jesus, I trust in you. Have a wonderful Sunday and a wonderful rest of the week. God willing, I'll see you next Sunday. Goodbye.